What's up gamers? Welcome back to yet another diecast review. This one's a pretty special one, I'd say. This is um the first NASCAR race I've ever intended. This is the race win from that race. The 2013 Watkins Glen Cheese It 355, because that was a sponsor back then. You know, I miss those days. This is the Kyle Bush Race Win autograph version. I don't even know if it's the autograph run. I think it's just hand signed. So I think that's even better. I actually got this for a pretty good deal, so I'm happy to have it. I actually was the only reason I had the other Kyle Bush diecast. Actually, the last episode, because I haven't had any other diecast come since uh, besides this one. So, yeah, let's get into this one, and let's take a look at the box. This is your typical 2013 race win box, if you haven't seen it before. Um, uh, Kyle Bush. 31st cheese at 355 at the Glen winner. I think they spelt uh, at the Glen wrong. Um, I don't know if that's how they spelled it at uh, back then, but I don't know. See <laughs> uh, Watkins Glen, New York, August 11th, 2013. Uh, the 11-year anniversary of that is coming tomorrow as I'm recording this video. Uh, back here, you see the... Watkins Glen win 2013 Camry, one out of 525, so about the same quality you would get today, or quantity, I should say, uh, 2013 there, and they have the race schedule back here, I missed when they did this, I think they did this for 2020 as well, and then they stopped doing it after that, and then the top of the box you see Sprint Cup Series race winner, and then over here is another picture of Kyle Busch and the Cheez-It Trophy. Which looks pretty cool, by the way. But, uh, cheese it. I miss you guys. Come back, please. Now, let's get, uh, this winner stat card into view. Okay. I'm near this side first. I just moved the thing a little bit. Alright, it's still not focusing. Okay. Bush tamed the curves at Watkins Glen. You can read that if you want to read that. August 11th, 2013 is coming up. Uh, well, 2024 now. <laughs> you see that as well if you want to read that. Um, I think Ambrose was leading most of this race, if I remember that right. I rewatched this race as well uh, on NASCAR Classics. Let's put the car into view. And here it is. This is Kyle Busch's 2013 Watkins Glen uh, race twin autograph version. There's a little bit more hair right there. All right, we're good. And as you see, uh, the flat tire is literally, like, ripped. <laughs> you see that? That's actually not, like, broken on the die cast. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's one of the po coolest parts about these old race twins and stuff. And over here is probably my favorite part. The same old ripped tire as well. With the damage of the burnout completely, you know, covering the green M&M. &M, and then the other M&M's all go. It's pretty cool. I liked, I liked this race win just because of that. And it was my first race. Then you see an autograph. It's in black, unfortunately, on the windshield. I see you have 509. Um, I see Sam Club. I don't even know if Sam's Club is in New York. <laughs> I gotta look that up. Because there's Sam's Club guys. Kyle's Club. <laughs> that stupid thing. Anyway. But yeah, this is a really sweet car. Um, had I not tried to get this before, um, I wouldn't have gotten that summer fun car. And this is only, I think, two of multiple uh, Watkins Glen wins I need in my collection. And that's going to take a while because, yeah, <laughs> Chase Elliott, man. Mm. Anyway, let's take a look at the sponsors and stuff. As you see on this side, we have um, Goodyear, your contingencies there with the Sprint Cup Series logo. And then the 18 on the side on the door where it should be. Then you have M&M's here uh, with the red M&M. Uh, then you have Interstate Batteries, Doosan, Freightliner, Simons, Mac Tools. What is that logo? Uh, I can't see what that logo is. Hang on just a second. I have no idea what that logo is. I'm going to be fair. And then Sherwin Williams next to it. On the name rail, you have Kyle Busch and a huge black stroke as well. Uh, then you have Joe Gibbs Racing, Monster Energy, Snickers, Twix, Milky Way, Double Mint, and what is that? Uh, something, something Junction Supply, maybe? 
what I want to say? I have no idea what that says. Let it focus. Something. It's uh, American something. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, let me zoom this out again. Uh, and then you have Ray Bet Bestos. Here is what? Why is... Oh, the smoke 14 because of... Right. Why? Actually, why is that on there? The smoke 14. This wasn't the... No, it wasn't the year. This wasn't the year. Um, I think it was because he was injured or something. When he was uh, had his back broken or something like that. On the um, dune buggy or something. On the deck lid, you have Race Day is Better with M, uh, aka Eminem. <laughs> uh, once again, DIN 509. Then you have Sam's Club back here. The brown Eminem as well. And then on this side, you have the uh, covered up green Eminem <laughs> with um, the rubber. Uh, did I say? Yes, Interstate Batteries on this side as well. I didn't miss that. Okay, so Interstate Batteries here as well. Um, the covered up Eminem's logo, the covered up other logos. Pretty much the same on the other side, anyways. The Smoke Tribute 14 logo again. And then Ray Bestos. Uh, then you have Kyle Busch on the name rail. Joe Gibbs Racing. Mount, uh, Monster Energy. Snickers, Twix, Milky Way, Double Mint. And that other logo I couldn't see. American something. Uh, and then the only one you can really see is Interstate Batteries, Freightliner, and Doosan, and Simons. And a little bit of Mac Tools. Uh, then you have the 18 again on the door with a different m, &M color in the background. Uh, then you have co your contingencies with the Sprint Cup Series logo. And lastly, the Goodyear above the tire. On the roof, you have the iconic m ms on the hood. Did I see the roof? I did say the roof. On the hood. Sorry. Um, and then the front end is your typical 2013 Camry front end, uh, with the 18 and Joe Gibbs Racing logos. And on the roof, uh, actually on the roof, is the 18 with the red M&M in the background without the sponsor. I can do it on, my, on our chosen three cars. But yeah, this is my first 2013 Camry uh, in my entire collection. So that's pretty nice to have this as well for that reason. If possible, I would also like to get Hamlin's uh, 2013 FedEx 2013 Camry. I don't know. But I already have his 2012 one, if you haven't seen that video yet. But if it's a different color, like the green one or the blue one or something, that would also be nice to add to the collection. But other than that, Kyle Busch, once again, I already talked about his year, 2024, last video. So, that's pretty much it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash the like button and subscribe. Especially if you like diecast reviews like this, uh, I think there's another one coming soon. It's either going to be another eBay ad or the other pre-order that's coming in. I think it's Chastain. Something with Chastain. So definitely stay tuned um, if you like diecast reviews. If you don't, that's fine. <laughs> you don't have to watch. But anyway, yeah. Until then, see you again next time. Have a great day, gamers.